Hello and welcome to this brand new episode of Yacht Talk. We are at Heysen's shipyard in Os, Netherlands, where they have cleared out their biggest dry dock in order to make room for their latest great yacht. It's called Project Serena. And Serena is the latest of the very successful 55 meter steel series, a series at the heart of Heysen's bold speculative build program. Let's find out more with Robert Drombun, who's sales manager at Heysen Yachts, and Perry van Hertem, who is the head of interior design. Well, hello, gentlemen, and welcome to Yacht Talk. Hello, hello Charlotte. Welcome. welcome. So, yet another special location for Yacht Talk. Robert, can you tell us a bit more about where we are right now? Yes, this is a, a very specific place indeed. It's, a, it's an 83-meter dock, which we commissioned in 2016, to be correct. And it's, it's, it's there, it's the state of the art, and it's to enable us to build proje bigger projects because our largest shed till then was the 70 meter dock which is uh, next door here uh, hole mm, five and uh, but this enables us to uh, to build bigger boats perry indeed because this place was specifically built to accommodate an 80 meter that was project cosmos yes correct it was uh, we needed the space uh, we also had the opportunity in that case to have two of our older sheds to transform it in what robert said into this new state-of-the-art big shed where we can do the, the real big boats. So we're here to discuss a new and exciting new project, Project Serena, and it's part of your speculative build program, of course. Now, Robert, when Heeson started with this uh, back in the 90s, you were one of the first companies to do it. What was the thinking behind it? Correct, correct. In the, in the, in the beginning 90s, uh, Heeson did indeed start as one of the first in building projects speculatively. So meaning you choose a designer and uh, you start building a, a project. Uh, the real reason behind this is uh, to, to shorten delivery time, to give uh, a client a shorter delivery time in that respect that they can enjoy the boat uh, sooner. But it also comes at a price to a certain extent, in the sense that you have to take away the risk from your client, which means that you have to be in a very strong financial position to do it. Um, uh, correct. Uh, also, this uh, speculative uh, building uh, ensured us in, in, a, in a very good, uh, stable position. We could be more efficient, the building process is more efficient. So we will always uh, be able to, uh, to have a good, uh, good results. And in that respect, uh, Heeson got a very solid base over the years to continue this uh, speculative uh, building. As yachts tend to get bigger and bigger by the year, uh, you seem to have found the soft spot with the 50, 55 meter range. Why is that? Correct. Uh, you see uh, indeed the, uh, that that boat look bigger and bigger. Uh, I think we should not forget that uh, a lot of our clients still want to keep uh, con uh, continuing going into the harbors, into the nice bays. And when the boats become bigger and bigger, that's not possible anymore. Secondly. Um, our facilities are, ve are really geared up for this, this really speed, uh, sweet spot. So in this way we can build these uh, very uh, cost effective and, and efficient. And, um, and last but not least, don't forget that Heesen is the only Northern European shipyard building these boats in series. From a layout perspective, Perry, what makes the 55 meter range so attractive? Yeah, I think if you, if you see the layout for the amount of guests that you have, we can have uh, 12 guests on board. The general spaces, they are good, they are well, well, well equipped, but also with the, uh, the, the, the guest cabins below, there's also enough space for the guests if they want to have some privacy that they can relax. So in terms of how many guests you can accommodate and crew, what's the uh, capacity? You, you have, uh, we can house 12 guests on board, but also the, the crew spaces, uh, the balance over there is quite well that the crew can give a good service to the boat. So meaning as well that the guests can enjoy the time over there. And Robert, what are the new features or the new, or the novelties, let's say, of the new 55 meter series? Um, yeah, this, this 55 meter series we've been building for, for quite a couple of years. So we already delivered many of them. Uh, very successful in charter, but there's always ways in improvement and also time will ask for new 
designs, new, new features. But mainly you can look at the uh, exterior design. They're more sleeker, straighter line, more glass, more bigger windows. Um, we added on the main deck in the main or in the master uh, cabin, we added a, uh, a French balcony. So no open folding platforms. So, so just a, a push button, sliding doors open you and you enter a nice, uh, a nice balcony. Um, also on the uh, on the sun deck, we um, we raised the uh, the square meters on, on on the top by extending the the overhangs. We added, for instance, a a crew staircase, which uh, which uh, improves the flow, more privacy for the uh, for the guests. So all in all, an, uh, a beautiful project with uh, a lot of and these are only a few things which yep. I mentioned. And from an interior design perspective, what are the new features that clients are really asking for today? Yeah, I think that the clients, they, they want to, let's say, escape a little bit the hectic times. They want to spend uh, a nice time with their friends, with their family. Uh, so you see that in the interiors, although we still have, you have to have the high level of luxury, the interior has to be a, a more approachable. So they, I think they use uh, 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 softer tones, natural materials. I think also a little bit of a retro look into some of the actions that you have throughout the interior. That's yeah, a little bit the features that you see in the interiors nowadays. Now for the interior design of Serena, Hisson teamed up with the famous Italian design studio Luca Dini. So we went over to Florence to find out more. Take a look. Right from the beginning of this exciting project, Hisson teamed up with Luca Dini Design and Architecture. And the partnership has added new efficiency and fresh creativity to the interior layout and design. This is not our first Hisson project. Uh, we are actually now up to four. Uh, it's been very nice uh, this time because uh, while with Gemini we came to the project while the layout was completely settled. This time we were um, asked from the shipyard to work together with uh, Omega, with Frank Lappmann. So we briefed with the shipyard regarding this and also they asked Luca to bring his experience uh, to give the layout some new ideas, uh, some appeal. And this was worked out together with the exteriors. So actually, um, the, this platform is working very well. The GA uh, presents some uh, new things and new items. A nice uh, change that is that um, the, the, the columns that are usually settled at the middle of the, of the salon are disappeared. They are not there anymore. So we have windows on both sides showing the outside and bringing the outside in. This area is full of light. With accommodation for 12 guests in six ensuite cabins, a transformative example is the new French balcony in the master stateroom on the main deck forward. Following up in the other guest areas, uh, the Sky Lounge is a very nice uh, um, area, still with the huge and very high windows. Uh, the layout is quite free, so we moved the bar on a side so that there is a very wide lounge area. Other enhancements include less formal layouts for the outdoor areas that focus on alfresco dining, additional stairways for more fluid circulation, and an extended sun deck layout for additional floor space. Working on the interior concepts, uh, we are at the very early stage at the moment. and We try to bring all of our ideas on the table, materials come, go, maybe we see something from another project and we try it on and we check the colors and we select the different woods and try to understand how they work. Also with metals, we do the same thing. Uh, so this is the research moment. Wow, the design looks absolutely amazing, but what about technological innovations and this new emphasis on sustainability? Uh, sustainability is of course very, very important uh, because uh, it, uh, it takes care of what we, what we love uh, and that's the ocean, so very important. In that respect, we launched uh, last year uh, Blue Now Tick and Blue Now Tick uh, is, is for us the basis to, to, to really have efficiency uh, in, 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 in our, uh, one of our visions. 
secondly, of, of that um, uh, use of, of, of new materials and, uh, and energy-saving energy uh, solutions. And I think the great, great example of this project is, uh, is it's got the uh, very efficient hull form, which enables us to build uh, these boats with relatively very small engines. Perry, I'm curious, from your perspective, what is the difference between a speculative build and a full custom project? Of course, the main difference with the speculative build is that you do not have a client. So the, the, the work together with the interior designer like Lucadini, it becomes more intense. You have to think a step ahead. You have to always think, uh, does the interior, does it appeal to a, uh, to a future client? Can you take the decisions that normally a client would, be, would, would take? And of course, we always try to make the interior in such a way that we, we think, how can we uh, uh, let an owner later on in the stage also still have his personality into the boat so that he can still make changes, give his personal input to the interior. Uh, maybe to, uh, to add to that, uh, Perry, it's, uh, it's, that's of course always the challenge. Uh, I think here within Hiesen uh, we have the, the big advantage is that we do the whole project in-house. So uh, the design but also the construction. So when a client has the desire or the wishes to make modifications, it's for us relatively now not easy, but we can we can really s oversee the consequences. So not only uh, in production-wise, but also time-wise and f and and on a financial basis. So that will enables us us very very good to accommodate all the clients' requests. Yeah. And of course, when a client steps in really late, you always get the feeling you have to sell no to a client. But I think it's it's more important and the challenge is more that not not to sell a no to a client but to explain him the possibilities and try to develop together a, po a solution to the wishes that he has so still see what you can do within the interior and somebody always wants to personalize personalize his boat you still so have to give them the space to personalize it. On it and the fact that Heeson is one of the very few shipyards with its own luxury interior building divisions how unique is this uh, in this environment I think indeed it's pretty unique, like Robert mentioned already, you have the possibility to do everything in-house. So the main advantage is that we can act as one team, we are very short in communication and we can act very quickly. So whenever a question comes in from a client or a demand from the, from the, from the build, we can act to it and we, we can uh, operate very quickly. Robert, Perry, thank you so much for a great discussion today. With pleasure. Thank you, pleasure was all mine. And I can't wait to see Serena when she hits the water in 2024. That's it from us. The next episodes of Yacht Talk will be filmed at the Monaco Yacht Show. So stay tuned, keep watching, and remember, keep yachting.